Welcome everyone to Welcome this new to the to this seventh new one. episode. Thank you for remembering. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kind of knew yeah. it was the seventh one. We, we were gonna it have yesterday when we tried to record yes. with our guest. But yeah, we had um, a YouTuber, another fellow YouTuber, on. And hopefully, uh, we'll have him again soon, so you guys can all see him. You can all listen to our. Uh, we had a good discussion, but it's it's all lost yep, if you're lost. wondering what we, happened to it. it. Yep. So, that's gone, sadly. But it's fine. So, we're re-recording, and he can't be with us. And since he's busy, it's just me and Dana. It's just us today. Down to our schedule again of, like, guess, no guess, Mm -hmm. guess, no guess. We'll figure out eventually. It's barely a schedule. This is the seventh episode. It's not really a schedule. (laughs) Also, (laughs) if you are a small YouTuber, or if you know any small YouTubers... Or if you uh, just want to join, whatever. (laughs) want to be on then dm us and maybe we can sort something out and you can guest appear on the podcast because we're looking for guests yeah, now we're always looking for guests <laughs> yeah just dm us through our social medias in the description or even on the youtube yeah because you can do that now yeah. <laughs> you can like text right, people through the youtube that. app i always forget really about good. that because who uses that yeah i know i remember when it appeared it was just kind of like this this thing that happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like, all of a sudden, I'm checking my notifications and I can text people now. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a good addition, though. It's kind of like Google Hangouts, just on the... But, like, who used Google Hangouts either? <laughs> That's true. No one freaking uses Google Hangouts, because it's crap. Like, it's real bad. Just other things. <laughs> but it's convenient. That it and is. And that's why it exists. So, yeah, anything else to say? I don't know. I've we've been working kind of hard to try and uh, I, I guess push our channel more lately. Mm-hmm. Like one second, <laughs> my mom's asking me about Subway. <laughs> yes, she apparently went to Subway, mm-hmm. so she's asking if I want some. Are you there's a Subway. <laughs> um, maybe later. I know there's a Subway close to you. There's a subway close to me. There's a subway close to you. Yep. There's a subway close to everyone. There's I'm subways sure that- everywhere. There's like, two subways close to me. Which is the other one? Um, the one that's in the 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah. It that one's kind of like a half. Close. It's like a pseudo subway. Yeah, pseudo But subway. if we're going by that logic, there are like three subways close to me. There's one in the <laughs> this grocery store. There's one yeah. like really close. And then there's one like about 15 minutes away, something like that. Mm. Even more Starbucks if you want. If you want to get to Starbucks, I had a hot chocolate from Starbucks today. Ooh! Did you have a card? My friend was just grabbing us all things, and then because we went to the mall together today, and oh, nice. so one of my friends was grabbing us all Starbucks, and me and another friend were like, we don't like coffee though, so we just got hot chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Did you get a special hot chocolate or just the average one? Just the average hot chocolate. Was it any good? Probably. It's fine. <laughs> and then I went with my uh, hot chocolate in the Halloween store. And I'll put up that's a beautiful open? picture. Yeah, it's open. It's in the mall this year. <laughs> it's... What is it right now? It's... It's in it's where pre- Sears was. Yeah, but when we're recording this, it's September. <laughs> It's not yep. even October yet. Yeah, it's funny. But it makes sense because they're only a couple months, and why not? So they have lots of stuff right now, and I'll see if I can put up the beautiful picture of me in. So you know the rubber chickens? Yeah, I do. I found oh, a mask of it, and oh your face God. goes in the mouth, oh. and it's beautiful. So I'll put a you picture mean, here. Is it like that guy from uh, Hotline Miami? You know him, the protagonist of that no. game. He wears a chicken mask. Quite possibly. But yeah, I had Maybe fun. Maybe it's a friend. My friends or kept being be. scared of random things. Because they have a lot of things you stand on and they jump out at you. I used to be so terrified of stepping in those uh, places just because of those things. Yeah. We have to go to... If you come out, we have to go to the mall and go see the um, Halloween store together. Because it still has so yeah. much stuff in it. Because one, it's in where the Sears used to be. And the Sears was big. So they have a huge. lot of room. That's um, pretty cool. That's like the biggest have a one. Ton yet. of stuff. They're not using all of it, but I'm sure. Like they're only using like half the downstairs. 
Yeah. And Wait, are, are, do they floors. have the entire? I would think that they only have one floor. They only have one floor, and they're only using like half of it. But it looks like they'll slowly expand. It's so sad that Sears is gone. Mm hmm. And then oh, also, well. we, they closed off the parking garage. Oh my gosh, no! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but you said because you can get into Sears from there or something. Yeah, so this, they just. It's completely blocked off. That really sucks though because the parking garage was great. Parking mm -hmm. garages are always really special places because you only have them in malls. <laughs> I guess you have them in the city too, but yeah, they're like. The city. But they're really not common where I live because there's just a ton of parking everywhere. Yeah, you like, get I find good parking paid parking there. really weird because the only place that has paid parking is the hospital. Oh yeah, that's ridiculous. So hospital parking? I don't know why. You should be like fifty bucks an hour. Mm hmm. Something like that. It's really really and it's bad because you part of town that has a, that has paid parking. Why is visiting your loved one who's injured yeah. dying cost money to park and I nowhere know. else does? It's ridiculous. I don't like. At least, like, people say, I mean, it's weird to me, I'll just start from the beginning, that, that like, in the U.S. you have to pay for the hospital, because that's even worse than having to pay for parking, you know, just being yeah. like, it's either my loved one dies, or I pay, like, thousands of dollars. That's kind of the I deal with- and into debt forever. Yeah, that's I kind of the deal with, like, vets, which is mm -hmm. stupid. You, It should be free for animals, too, I think. Yeah. At least with a discount, <laughs> <laughs> because- you're just killing the animal, you know? Like, what if and something that's easily fixable happens? Yeah. It's just, just a pain. Mess. Mm. And, like, America's, like, the government spends more than Canada, like, per person on, um, healthcare. Because American healthcare huh. is just unreasonably expensive. Yeah. Because, like, apparently. Canada and all these countries that have. Um, a national thing, they can just go to the people who are selling like a certain limb or so like they're selling like hip implants and they can go, you get to do the hip implants for the entire country. And so everyone's <laughs> fighting to do that. So then they'll give lower and lower prices instead of just and like, jobs, and probably. so it gets cheaper. And yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. It's, Frickin' economy is weird. And yeah, yeah, it's real weird. Like a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole of just like. It's very interesting. No, I though. can do it cheaper. No, I can do it cheaper. And mm -hmm. just. Oh, it's so dumb. And like people will sell at a loss if they think it will do other things. And it's just. It's a weird thing. There's only so cheap yeah. you can go. And then stores yeah. are always like, we'll, uh, it will match any um, <laughs> other per place. Which That's a nice. relatively, like, new thing, isn't it? I Where they're just I... like, Oh, I'm going to Best Buy. We'll match Walmart or whatever. Best Buy will not match Walmart. Best Buy <laughs> is way more expensive. <laughs> Best Buy is very expensive. Mm. I mean... My camera the... was $200 more at Best Buy than I, and I got it at Walmart instead. I mean, I can mentally match the prices. Like, I went to the the local kind of grocery store today, and the udon noodles were nine nine cents there. But then in the superstore, they were two dollars and nineteen cents. Mm -hmm. So they were like twice as much and plus. Yeah. In the other store. But like, you can't do that. You can't go up to the store and go. It, it's more expensive there. Trust me. So. <laughs> yeah, like if I go to superstore and be like, it's cheaper there. They're not gonna. Mm. Lower the price. No. Unless you have proof. Yeah, I guess. I have a picture. <laughs> I don't oh, care. I don't I don't care that much about saving. I'll just buy one less noodle. Yeah. I I like savings. Yes. That's great. It's good saving money. Mm-hmm. Same reason why I think like Starbucks hot chocolate is kinda dumb. I wouldn't want to buy it for myself, but since a friend was like, I'll just get you both hot chocolate. Sure, whatever. But, like, so I where think would it's you way buy too expensive. It from? I just. Like, there's I, nowhere else it's really gonna be cheaper. You buy a pack of hot chocolate and I, make it at home? I would make it at home. You buy a box, you make it at home. Like, that spectrum of, like, the McDonald's. You remember that, right? Mm hmm. Um, you would be, let's go eat something at home. <laughs> I, it's just like I will often buy two liters of pop instead of just buying like a small thing of pop because it's cheaper. Like it's 
a couple, like a dollar less to buy. Yeah, in a way, like it's good, but it's、mm-hmm. also kind of inconvenient.、Hmm. And also, it's, it's less、um, healthy because,、mm-hmm. like, you could buy. Honestly, a hot chocolate is, is better for you than a Coke because that's the worst <laughs> thing for you, possibly. But if you're gonna、yeah. buy a Coke anyway, I guess buy the cheaper one. Yeah, it's still the same、I、brand. Go, I'm like, why would I buy it from like a. S- Um, and go to a like restaurant and get it when I can just yeah, do it. Yeah, they're、myself. like very、um, expensive at restaurants. I、like、feel the same way about milkshakes. I can do、yeah. them for like a dollar. Why would I pay more than that to get a milkshake?、It's、I want to make them at home. Yeah, I do I keep... that a lot. They're delicious.、Yeah. And also, <laughs> you, if you make them at home, you know what goes into them. That's true. I put, I like actual fruit in my milkshake, and I bought milkshake before, and it's like, this tastes like they put juice powder in here instead of、yeah. actual stuff. It always tastes like that. Like, I, I really like a raspberry smoothie, but all、mm-hmm. these places just use blue raspberry mix instead of like actual raspberry. Where, like, where was the last place that you went to have a, had a, a milkshake or a smoothie?、Um, last place was that one that they filmed Riverdale. It's filmed Riverdale. Yeah, I、oh. was gonna say that. Yeah. And it's like, I drink it.、Uh, it's like, it Rockus? It's like, this is just, this is just、um, juice mix stuck in. This is kind of like, it's yummy, but it's also like an actual raspberry is so much better. I know that one. When I was. Before they filmed Drifford,、mm-hmm. we used to go there a lot, and I had the blue raspberry all the time. But I liked it because it was a treat. But it, it was like. Y- y- yummy, but it tastes like powder. Like, I agree, it is delicious. I don't remember it. I think it's because it last time I had powder, like, though. I was like, okay. Yeah.、So、I have I to, I have to、anyway. make you my. Next time you come over, I have to make you a raspberry milkshake. Yeah.、Oh, Here I, I mostly. I mostly make like smoothies. Just put、I、a bunch also, of frozen. Yeah. I also like, so, like, a bunch of places have their frozen lemonades, which、mm-hmm. are just crushed ice and lemonade. They're、um, pretty gross, but at Tim Hortons it's a dollar, so I, you I, always get it at Tim Hortons. I always would get I like to, they're, I find them delicious. But so, they're all right, but they're、I、like just, nothing. There's nothing in there. No, I agree. But I'll just put some strawberries in and just have that as a cold drink on a hot day. Like,、yeah. I like it better than just straight lemonade. And it's like,、mm-hmm. it's not like any other drink at like Tim Hortons, anything's in there. Like, yeah, it, there's like in the smoothie, there's like chunks of fruit, but it's like $3、mm-hmm. more. Also, it's like, I don't actually believe this is entirely fruit. Like, Starbucks, well, yeah, of course they、not. put a banana in there. That is the only fruit they put in there. The rest of it is just like. But they're a chain.、Flavoring. You gotta keep that in mind. Exactly. And it's like, I just prefer to just make my own, and then I know what's in there, and it's cheaper, and it's delicious. So why not? If you go to like. There's a lot of、uh, more local places. I agree. There's only, only like、but、five of them, and they like do a good job, but it, it's, it's, it's expensive. True. They're like five now. Get one. Mm hmm. It's more of an invest- investment, I guess. You're like,、mm. I'm gonna buy one smoothie here, and I'm not gonna buy two Cokes next time I go out. But、I、it's、guess. like, I just, I, I know I like supporting local places, and I, if I'm there, I might do it. But it's like,、yeah. I, I just prefer to just make it myself. Yeah, that's fair. That's, it's, it's, it's better off because,、uh, like、deeper. you said, you know what goes into it.、Mm-hmm. Saving money. Yeah, it's that's like. I, I, I know I'm not gonna put anything that I don't trust in today. Okay, like some of the things that I'll put in, it's like I don't exactly know what's in here, but I know the fruit flavoring is fruit. Like, <laughs> you mean that、uh, the frozen juice stuff that you like、mm. turn no, into I juice? No, I like like ice cream. It's like I don't know exactly what's in the ice cream if、yeah. I'm making a milkshake. But like, it's、There's、a general this idea. There's this drink that I really want to make. I was reading this book from the 1960s, and they were having this thing called like a black and white soda.、Mm. And it sounded like the most delicious like milkshake <laughs> where you get like a Pepsi and you put like ice cream on the top and the bottom and like cherries in it.、Ooh. And you like blend it together. It sounds really good. Sounds I want to make it. 
And like, imagine it's like, it's from the 60s, so it has like this really good soda too, like from a soda <laughs> fountain. I don't know when soda fountains died out. I don't know. There probably still are some. Oh yeah, there is. I um, guess they're still are. You can call, uh, that's why they're called fountain drinks. Because they're technically soda fountains, but yeah. they're like crap. But they're like <laughs> They're crap soda. They're, they're around in some of these like retro places. Yeah, but. there's this there's this great 1950s place that like, except for the TV, which I don't <laughs> see why they have like a flat screen in there, but okay. Um, I want to go eat there. I want to see how the food is. Which one? The, the I'm one? not sure what it is. It's on Main Street. Mm. I've only been there. I've only there's been a past nice it once. 50s place. Oh wait, um, I know what it's called. It's called Helen's Grill. Mm. There's a pretty it's nice Helen's 50s Grill. place in Fort Langley that has like ice cream and stuff. It's pretty good. Hmm. There's one in Abbotsford, but it, it's always closed. Like, it closes at, like, four. So I've never yeah. been able to go there. It's just, yeah. There's a... There's an interesting style of place, but it's not a place I particularly care about, the 50s style. Like, it's nice once in a while. Yeah. It's not a style I'm going to specifically go out for, unless their food's really good. That's like why I like the one in Fort Langley, because, like, they make good ice cream things. Like, they, their um, banana split has so much on it, or at least it did at yeah, one point. Yeah, I mean, a true a true 50s place has good ice cream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so that's what matters, not what it yeah, looks like. Yeah, I agree. But I think both matters, because if you actually want to call it a 50s diner, I you mean, need to, like, put to, some effort into that. If it's a 50s that. diner, it has to look. be there. But I'm not going to go to a place just because it's a 50s diner. Like, Obviously you know? not. Like the place in Mission that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Everyone, yeah, it was so weird. I heard some people talking and they're like, oh, I want to go to the place they filmed Riverdale at. I want to <laughs> drive like two hours with my friends to go to the place they filmed Riverdale at. It's wow. not that special it's of a place. It's not that special. I don't get why, like, I went, I was in a drama group and after we were done our final, um, final performance, we went there. Yeah, and you just like, drive all the way. It's not that far, but like we went yeah, there. I guess. It's like, why did we go here? They have like <laughs> booths. There are eight of us. We don't yeah. fit in a booth. You're not kind of fit. You need two. Yeah, and so we were end up back to back, and then we kept <laughs> just swapping out who was sitting in each booth. In a way, it's nice because you're you're perfect for two booths because you're eight. Mm -hmm. Well, you said you were eight, right? Like Our, four for booth. Yeah, we were you, there was more. Of you. There was or more not. of us, but they went to some of them. Went the, the drama group was weird. There was some like yeah. there was like two separate kind of groups that formed, and I just kind of bounced in between them because I, I wasn't close to either group. But, you didn't uh, really have any friends in there. No, but like there was this weird animosity between these two groups, and like. That's so weird. We'd always be dressing um, and like doing our makeup in different rooms, and they claimed it because they had different tastes of music. But there was this weird animosity, <laughs> and then we all we it ended up being two groups for the um, going out to, and I ended up with the one group because that's who I got a ride with. Cause oh, I see. My mom was out of town, and I can't drive, so it's yeah. Just and I was gonna take the bus back too, and the bus <laughs> it's after ten. No, you're not, you're not getting You're not getting on the bus. Okay. I got a ride too, which is great because yep. I was pretty I was pretty scared yep. that yep, I wasn't that one. Uh, also, yeah, um, I wonder why you're walking back cuz like half the, the walk back doesn't have lights. Yeah, it's so dark. I really was nervous. Cuz I made like it. it's under I am um, it's that uh, that walk back from my school, it's under power lines and they can't put they can't put lights there. Mm -hmm. I guess. So there's just complete it's darkness. It's terrifying. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you, what do you mean like they were, they had different preferences in music? Was it like one band that one person liked and the other person mm. didn't, or one like like more poppy music and like the other like rap and country? <laughs> so neither of those are what you like. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, we at one point started listening to like. Some of the bands I like, Panic at the Disco. I don't find them a bad band. Not They're my favorite, but I enjoy right. them. 
They're better than. All right, and we started listening to like Fall Out Boy, and I like Fall Out Boy. But other than that, we were just kind of listening and with who I was with, because that's who was helping me with my makeup, because I don't know makeup. Mm -hmm. Um, They were mostly listening to like shitty love songs, pop love songs. So you're like, eh, Fall Out Boy. It's fine. I agree. I would have. I would much rather Fall Out Boy than that stuff. Yeah, but we didn't like. I really enjoyed the Hollow Boy, but yeah, most of the time we were listening to shitty pop songs. <laughs> shitty rap songs are just as bad, though. Oh, I agree. I'd, I'd say they're... Oh, some my of gosh. them are worse, some of them are better, it depends. Mm-hmm. But it's just, like, not my style of music. Yeah, n- And no. the, the people there understood that I didn't really like it, but it's like, I'm not gonna complain, and they appreciated like- that. That's good. Um, like it's I, not, I obviously it's not, would And it's not like I'm gonna play my music because a lot of my music <laughs> is like not good for that setting. It's and it screamo is an acquired taste, and I like <laughs> yeah. screamo. So it's like yeah, I'm not exactly. gonna put in any of my music, and they can just listen to whatever. I'll just chill here. I can tolerate few... other music. I just don't particularly care about it. Like. <laughs> I'm going to be weirded out by the lyrics, and that's okay, but, like, it's... I can just listen to the beats. The beats are fine. They're all the same, but it's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, because you're the type of person who always listens to the lyrics. I can't stop. You can't just mute them out. I can't stop. Like, you need to be doing something. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, you can't just be okay with, like doing nothing like for me fidgeting while talking i just put on a freaking screensaver i'm mm-hmm. fine <laughs> yeah that sounds I incredibly in, like, boring these like well, windows 95 screensavers they keep stuff. me from touching the computer <laughs> <laughs> i won't always do like he, right now i'm not doing anything except talking to you but it depends like yeah what's going on when i was younger i used to pace <laughs> on the yeah, phone did. before i had like a cell phone yeah. When I had a cell phone, I started to like, oh, I can use headphones, so I can just kind of put it on the table. So I started to learn how to actually call with people. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was gonna say about the music. Mm-hmm. Um, last year, last summer, uh, when I was with my cousins, we like went out to my uncle, aunt, great aunt, whatever, family's farm. I guess it's like a ranch without any animals, but it has mm-hmm. dogs. But yeah in Mexico, and, uh, they were listening to music, and they kind of listened to, uh, um, stick kind of slow kind of music. They all liked that type of thing. Mm. And one of the girls had pretty good taste in music. She liked, uh, some good rock and decent jams, but yeah. they were still pretty different than to what I listened to. Yeah. So she was really open to my music, so I showed mm-hmm. her a bunch of songs that I like, and she liked a few of them, and mm. it was really nice, because I thought, oh, I, I don't want to play my music, because I'm yep. I'm pretty insecure yep. about people not liking it. Same. But she was, like, super nice about it, and she's like, this one's kind of weird. I like this one. I like parts of this one. It was like, <laughs> she was pretty open to it, and I was like, oh, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I'm not going to play my music, because I'm just going to assume that, like, my style of music is quite dark and, like... Right, there's mm-hmm. some screamo in there, and it's always fast. I like fast music, so I do like, like, some rap. But lyrical yeah. content is, like, number one for me. Oh, so it's like I can't listen to a lot of popular rap when I'm listening to the lyrics. You can't listen to the lyrics with a lot of rap. And that's yeah. fine. It's what people enjoy, whatever. But I, like, I, I, can't, want some... I can't handle it because it just weirds me out so much. Like, I understand. I just, I just don't. I just tune it out. And just don't I've listen been to walking it literally. around and looking at things in stores with my mom and all of a sudden going, do you hear what this music is saying? And mom's like, what? Yeah. Because no yeah, one else notices like this. But it's like, this is so weird. Like, there's entire shows made of, like, um, YouTube shows made of reading out the lyrics and people not knowing what <laughs> song this is. It's like, I can't do that. I know what the lyrics are. Like, You probably know what song it is before the people who like that song do. <laughs> Because you're Sometimes. like, oh yeah, that traumatized me. <laughs> Though I don't listen to that much music, so I'll often miss out on different music fads, and I won't. Like, people will complain about overplayed songs, and I won't ever realize, because it's like, the only time I hear it is if I'm in a store. You're like, in a mall. No one in my family yeah. plays um, the radio. Or, like, we listen to yeah, praise know. music on the radio. Well, that's what my mom listens to. So well, we don't have... Like, a- 
I guess I could use the internet as a radio, but... Yeah, but no one li- I so listen any to any overplayed it. song on the radio, I don't hear except for in stores, so... In stores, you often can't really hear the music, because it's loud and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I go to a lot of, like, places outside, like, Subway or convenience stores, whatever, so yeah. I hear those that music a lot. But I'm yeah. usually wearing my headphones for that reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear it that I- much. It's like I heard some of it today while I was at the mall. The the, oh, yeah. the um the the Halloween store was playing really weird songs for a Halloween store. They like weren't playing this is Halloween. No, they were playing like pop music and things. I like it when they p- play like Michael Jackson. That's cool. Uh, Not enough places play Michael Jackson. And it was like the, the shitty love songs and stuff. It's like this is a Halloween store. What? I'm disappointed. I'm thoroughly disappointed because the Halloween stores at least make an effort. From last year, at least, they made they totally made an effort to only play ha- Halloween music. But it's Can not near Halloween yet, so whatever. Mhm. I feel like if they only played Halloween music for two months, the employees would die. <laughs> yep. There's only sure. so much Halloween music. Don't murder the employees. <laughs> Ghostbusters ten times a day. Yeah. Yahoo! You can play the soundtrack to Ghostbusters. Hmm. That's sort of Ghostbusters isn't a Halloween movie. <laughs> it literally isn't. It isn't. But whatever. What was I gonna say about the lyrics? One more interesting thing. My friend Truman, um, he's he likes his band Death Grips. They're like hmm. really popular underground. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I gave them a listen. They're quote unquote experimental hip hop. Their yeah. music is very wild, and yep. the lyrics are very yep. like avant garde. So I feel like. You might like it, but you'd like think about the lyrics so much, and it would make you not want to listen to it because it'd be like, "This is very weird," and it has like these um these like poetic meanings to it too. I so, mean, poetic and they're extremely are fast. Fine. No, but. but it's like dark stuff, like drugs and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So I feel like it would it would make you really depressed or like yeah. I listen to one song about drinking and one song about drugs. And mm-hmm. both of them end up in death. So <laughs> maybe you'd like it. I don't know. Neither of I them feel like portray it's... them in a good light. The drinking one, he's drunk and he doesn't really care about his life anymore. So he's like, whatever. I'll just. I, who cares if I get into an accident? I'm just gonna drive. And he gets into an accident and he's perfectly fine, but he's murdered someone. Very well. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's quite upset about that and ends up killing himself. And that's the song I listen to about drinking. <laughs> What is this? What is the name of the song? In case the viewers are interested, it is "One in the Chamber." It's by the band um, Famous Last Words, my personal favorite band, and they make like concept albums. So it's a story, yeah. and um, so that would be on the album "Council of the Dead," and it's a very <laughs> good album. <laughs> this is your favorite album, so it's you know everything about it. It's a very good album. It it has my favorite song on it. Yeah. So, which is the other part to that story, which is from the point of the view from the guy who died in the crash. And that's my favorite song. It is super interesting, though. I, I like that. It's I like a- that they do that. I'm hoping that they make a new album soon, because like, they seem to have a trend of every two years in September. And it's been yeah. two years. And so I'm hoping for a new album. And yeah, we'll see. <laughs> My favorite band artist thing, um, Casio Dad, that's apparently Glass mm. Beach now. Um, <laughs> they haven't made an album, or she hasn't made an album. It's weird because, um, the singer is trans now, but when she made the album, she wasn't. So, mm. <laughs> that's kind of why the, the name changed. Oh, but they're God. making, they're making some new, um, some new music and I'm super excited because it's been like an extremely long time since they released an album so hopefully Ooh. an album but when you don't make money off music it's hard to be able yeah, to yeah. make more that makes sense <laughs> but yeah hopefully it'll be good stuff because I'm I'm a big fan yeah. of freaking Glass Beach mm-hmm. and the guy the singer she follows me on freaking Twitter too so mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which so, is really cool you know how I make the dolls yeah. Um, I was looking at, and I put them on Instagram, 
And so I have I made the Eli doll a while ago from from the mm-hmm. comic Soul to Call because I really like that comic. And well, yeah. the lady who makes it, she and she found it apparently, and she commented that she liked the doll. Oh, that's awesome! So, I knew you should have yeah. got it to her because she would have totally loved it. There's and she like, did. and it was exciting, and she found it, and I like it, and yes. she made a comment, and yay. <laughs> I'm really happy that she saw it because I'm, yeah, like I said, I told you to send it to her. <laughs> I've talked to my favorite YouTuber because I was like, um, Eggbusters, because I'm like, I want to know if you'd reply to me. <laughs> so a long time ago when I was dyeing my hair, since he dyes his hair, I tweeted at him and said, what color should I dye my hair? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, maybe a darker green or blue or something like that. Some dumb thing like that. And I'm like, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> what do I say next? Rainbow. So Good old yeah, rainbow. But yeah, rainbow. That was nice because they're humans. Yeah. You know, they don't and have to be distant. That's also the benefit of like enjoying Small smaller creators. <laughs> rainbow. Let me move her one sec. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. I accidentally started my voicemail. Ah, ah, stop it! This is your new voicemail. I I don't actually have a, a voicemail, but oh, I've never called you and not had you answer. So yeah, um. I don't, I don't, I've, I don't think I've ever. I never look at my voicemail, but want to know what I got the comment on the thing from the creator of the thing. Yeah. She commented, "Ah, this is so adorable. Thanks for making Eli. If anyone suits being a cute little yarn darling, it's him. Which is accurate. <laughs> That's why you made him. Yeah. He, he fits it. I also That's make so dolls sweet. of people who don't fit being a doll, but I want to make them, so. <laughs> but it's nice. That type of contrast is, like, my favorite thing. <laughs> like, my favorite type of anime is, like, where there's cute looking characters in this like dark kind of realistic world like there's this anime i really like called girls last tour where like the characters are like cute little looking characters but it's almost irrelevant (laughs) like they're kids in this apocalyptic world and they're the only characters i don't know what it is you tried to show me a show that was an anime that was kind of like that with the mind that they're trying to go deeper and deeper into made in abyss yeah just like a good anime but it has a, some flaws in it that I'm anyone surprised. who's seen it probably knows. And it also gets extremely dark halfway through. <laughs> like, do you want to know how dark it gets? How dark does it get? So, the one character has to cut off the other character's arm. That... Like, literally. Cut off the arm with with a knife. <laughs> That's quite dark! Of the human girl, too, so... She's feeling the pain, you know? <laughs> and she's 12. It's... Very... Wow! Wow! <laughs> Yeah, like, you did not expect that from, like, the relatively cutesy, but still, you know, a yep, real yep. kind of problem. No yep. one did, I don't think. No one expected that. It was just like, <laughs> oh! Okay! Uh, yeah, I was pretty... I mean, I don't even know how important it was for the narrative, but it mm-hmm. definitely leaves an impression on the viewer. Um, I feel like a uh, th- thing where the characters are cute, but, it, um is like uh, but the story's dark is like mm-hmm. bird boy yeah the character is cute the world is beautiful the story is horrifying and it's amazing and i love it but yeah yeah i uh, i agree i feel like i like that movie way more just because the character designs it's because so you make them appealing pretty. it's so cute and it's beautiful it's too. It's it it's a very like um you feel like you should be feeling one way Mm-hmm. But it looks such a different way, and it fits. It works so well. Like, I feel like that can be done badly. You know? Yeah, it can be done badly if you're, like, just doing it yeah. to have, like, Doing it the to funny. do it. Well, you're saying, like, oh, look at how funny this is. <laughs> I have a cute girl. Like, this is a trope when people make OCs, at least. Mm-hmm. Like, or Bubbles in the new Powerpuff Girls. I have this really cute character, but she gets extremely ang- angry and likes metal music sometimes. You know, like, that's not that original and not that good that's a troll when you're using, and you're using the cute characters as a tool to create some sort of false sense of comfort maybe in the viewer mm-hmm. like it's really smart mm-hmm. and like some people don't think about that but having like 
anatomic humans, like, like something real, like real people, you know, a live action movie. Yeah. It doesn't have that quality. Yeah. It, like, it's, it's just it's something just real life. that you can't have an at. Anima- um, you can have an animation that just doesn't work in real life. Like, <laughs> yeah, and it's unique for adult animation too. So, mm-hmm. it's it's funny that people. I see some people mention that usually when talking mm-hmm. about anime. There's a few anime I like like that. Yeah, some do yeah. it pretty badly. Yeah, um, of course. A- anything that could ever be made, someone's made a bad version of it. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's true. People are like, I want to do that too. Yeah. If there's ever anything cool and people like it, there's a way worse version of it. It's just how it yeah. is. That's just, you're right. Actually, there's more like, for one good, really cool idea, there's a hundred things of the same idea that's just shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like YouTube is pretty much the embodiment of that. <laughs> that YouTube, it's a thousand for every good idea. There's a, a, the, a good popular idea. There's a thousand mediocre to terrible ones yeah that's true <laughs> there's thousands of them and also i was watching a podcast about doom mm. uh, the history of doom and they were talking about um how the company who made doom in the late 80s they had this magazine mm. i forget what it was called it's where you got a cd in the mail and you put it into your computer and you read the magazine through the cd Hmm. Early 90s, mid 90s, I guess, if it's a CD. CD ROM. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but you yeah, got a little yeah. game with it, too. And it had uh, 10,000 subscribers or something like that, maybe less. Mm. Less than that, even. And, like, that was a lot. It was considered successful having that many subscribers yeah, to the yeah. magazine. And nowadays, it's like you have that many YouTube subscribers, you're nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's just. But it's also so much easier to, like, yeah. subscribe and to, like,. You don't have to pay money or anything. Like, even if you chop someone in half, like, someone has 40,000, you chopped in half. Like, 40,000 is barely enough to make a living on it, 50,000, something like that. Mm. It's, it's like, maybe a part-time job. Yeah, also, because, a subscriber won't always watch your content. Yeah, it's views. It's views, I guess. It's views that matter, but it's, um, it's, like, a subscriber doesn't really, like... If someone's paying to get something in the mail every week, mm-hmm. they're actually like interacting with it, and they get and it paying. automatically. And they're automatically paying for it. Yeah, and YouTube's not like that. It's just, and um, it's just based on advertisers, and like not yeah. even every person who comes through your YouTube video is gonna get like ads. Like, not mm-hmm. skip through them instantly and not, like... Have that block on or anything. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's not super comparable, but, like, it gives you sort of an idea. But, yeah. Of just, like, how expansive things are now, mm-hmm. I guess. But also, people are going to buy multiple copies of the magazine. I have accounts that have, over time, I've just abandoned an account. And they're yeah. still subscribed to who I used to be subscribed to. And then I've gone, mm-hmm. and I got a new account, and I went and subscribed to those people again, because those are who I want to watch. And so I'm sure I have at least three accounts that probably are all subscribed to the same person. And so yeah. it's just one human. But it has multiple subscriber numbers. Mm-hmm. And if it's a, like a per um, pay per month service, where you get a physical thing, then... You're not even gonna have multiple people in the same family that have. Yeah. So, like, one subscription counts for, like, multiple people often. Whereas mm-hmm. on YouTube, one subscription is probably, like, a third of a person. Like. Yeah, that's true. And it's probably not even, like, the person who doesn't even watch it anymore. It could be abandoned. Mm hmm. And everyone in the family, if they're gonna. If a whole family watches the same YouTuber there's a high chance they're all subscribed to that YouTuber, like... Yeah, isn't it interesting? A family of people that watch you do. I, I doubt that happens That's like a very super often. <laughs> Does your mom watch any YouTube? Um... I think she pirates on YouTube different, like... <laughs> um, she was pirating at, at, like, Ancestry.com, whatever show they had. They had <laughs> yeah. for a while. 
But yeah, she doesn't really use YouTube because she has Netflix, so she just uses Netflix. Yeah, my mom does that too, where she tries to watch like uh, RuPaul or Dr. Phil on yeah. YouTube. But she also she also has some YouTubers that she watches. Mm -hmm. My like, mom doesn't really have channel. that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I guess for both of us that's true. Everyone in our family watches some sort of YouTube, at least. Mm. Like, like they they know of it. Out. But like, they, say, they William and I, we are subscribed to a lot of the same people. We're in the same household. Uh, per month subscription, you get one per household. Like, we don't have different Netflix accounts. Because mm -hmm. it's a pay per month subscription. But we have multiple YouTube accounts each. So Maybe since. that... That CD magazine is more comparable to Netflix. Yeah, I'd say it would be. But I have no idea what the stats on Netflix are, so I can't say anything on that. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's I'm, I'm guessing that more people have a Netflix than we're ordering that magazine. Oh yeah, totally. Netflix well, because is really big. Netflix is extremely popular. But like ridiculously popular. Yeah, it's just how it goes. Yeah. I watch Netflix only when it's on. Like, I have it on my Blu-ray player. Mm. So, like, if I'm too lazy to pick something or there's a show that just came out that I don't watch, I use it. But that's about it. I actually don't use Netflix that much. Same. It's just... Netflix is just... It's a sea of stuff and it's not good at recommending you stuff. And it's, you can't subscribe to something and you can't... And it just <clears throat> vomits shows. Like, an entire show will suddenly exist. Like, an entire season will just exist on Yeah, I don't like that. I like I don't like either. But I just... like when I had cable. In a way, YouTube's a bit more like cable. Like, mm -hmm. um, I will go on my TV. After school every day, I watch Pokemon at 7 every day. I watch a Futurama. It's like this, whatever. But yeah, I yeah. guess I can make my own syndication, but, but it's like, cool to just like, flip it on and... Yeah, I watch like three and then I'm like, well, I wasted an hour watching freaking Final Space. Yeah, it's like, you could do that, but who does that? And it's yeah, still no not even, if you ration it out, who's gonna ration out to one per week? Like, yeah, that's not how people ration things. <laughs> like, not anymore. Unless no. they're forced. I see a lot of people like uh, praising binge watching. They're like, they love binge watching stuff. I mean, binge watching is pretty enjoyable in the moment. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. There's a certain point where there's multiple shows that I'm sure I would have watched if I had been Percy. Uh, like, if I just got a week. Like, sometimes I'll drop off during, like, intermissions. That is not what those yeah. are called. But, like, breaks. Hiatus. Hiatus. Hi I'll drop off during hiatuses, but if I'm getting consistently one per week, I'm going to keep watching. But, like, there's so many shows where it's like, they have multiple seasons, and I start watching it, and it's like, I get to... There's a certain point where it's just like, I, like, I really enjoy... Like, my mom and I would watch Flash together. We did that for years, but then we didn't yeah. have cable for our season, so we completely missed that season. And then we tried to go catch up and binge watch. And, Flash, you cannot binge watch that show. It's terrible when you binge watch it. Like... <laughs> It's, like, it's good as an event. Because it's a superhero show. Superhero shows always follow a strict formula, and that's okay. But The Flash, I knew when a commercial break was coming, what happened after the commercial break. <laughs> like, it's like, and I knew when the show ended, like, the episode ended, because they have the yeah. last scene, and then they have a commercial break, and then commercial, uh, and then the credits, because they want to get you in there uh, for commercials as much as possible. And I just turned it off in that commercial break because I knew the show was over. I know everything mm -hmm. that would happen in that episode had happened. So the show's over yeah. now. I don't need to watch these commercials just to see the credits. And so I would So just, it's a bit the the I guess what you were so saying. formulaic. And it was yeah, fine when I was watching it broken. once a week. I didn't notice it. Like I noticed it. I knew the formula. But it wasn't so painfully obvious. Like, it yeah. uh, it didn't annoy me. Like, I, I the superhero shows have formula. That's what they do. It's fine. <laughs> but you just can't binge watch them when something has the same formula every episode and nothing ever changes in that formula. You can't binge watch it. 
It sounds like the Flash is like comfort food, kind of. Like it's good. Oh yeah, it's a superhero show that's macaroni. really common for them. They're just kind of like if you eat like a bunch of macaroni at once. It's like that's disgusting. Why am I doing this? But like if you want eat macaroni once a week, yeah. once a day, even it's like this is fine. It's it's average. It's normal, but it's it's good. But I'm not gonna eat macaroni for every thing. meal. Yeah. All day. It's like. That's kind of what this, the magic of cable is, mm -hmm. I guess. You're watching something it's, you wouldn't necessarily want to watch otherwise. <laughs> yeah, and it, it forces you to, like, ration That's totally your watch funny. time. Like, us in the past, we used to watch things like Carl 2, Fang Bone. Why? Like, literally, we would have never watched them. Because it was on. What we did was we watched... Okay, Fang Bone we chose. We specifically went out of our way to choose. Because it looked weird. <laughs> But, but oh Carl yeah, we squared. watched it on demand. Yeah, it's Carl Squared. We would have never watched Carl Squared. <laughs> no. Or Carl Two, as we call it, because we never actually heard the name because we turned the sound I off. I still remember it though. We had such a fun time with that that I still remember the episode, even though we only watched it like once. We tuned in like three separate times or something. But for Maybe we to watch it. We started recording Carl Two. <laughs> Sorry, I blew in the microphone, but it's it's a good memory. Yeah, um, so we recorded Carl 2. My personal favorite was the time that they were going on a camping trip. But yes, the yes, I remember this. Carl's, so they hide the this clone in the suitcase, and he's sitting back there, like, dying. And I don't know what he was actually saying, but we were being like, I'm dying, like, <laughs> I'm suffocating. Me. Yeah, we were like... Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. We were quite murderous children. We were really morbid as, like, preteens. I mean, I continue to be morbid, but, like, it's more of a, like, I feel like the morbidity we have now is more of an understanding morbid. We know, like, I like yeah. understanding this dark stuff, but it's like, it's, and I might joke about it once in a while, but it's out of understanding. Like, I understand this stuff now. Back then it was just like, apocalypses are cool. <laughs> It seems cool, so I like it. Yeah. I don't want there to be a zombie apocalypse. But I mean, zombie apocalypse, actually, the world's gonna end someday, so whatever, but... I'd prefer things not like to end people a zombie die apocalypse. I feel like zombie apocalypse would be the worst, and I would hate to survive a zombie apocalypse. I would too. Like I would 100%, I, when I was twelve, like, I said that I wanted to die in a zombie apocalypse. I still do. I don't want to try and survive. If there was a zombie apocalypse, yeah, I'm dead. I'm not. I yeah. I would not, I'm not survive. Make an effort. It's not worth it. You'd just be in so much pain and like yeah. be terrible because everyone's dying around you. Mental pain. And physical yeah. pain, but mostly the main problem for me would be the mental pain. Me too, honestly. I couldn't handle that. No, I absolutely could not handle that. That would... No. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's mm -mm. like, yeah, it's like, you like to talk about who would die first in a zombie apocalypse. It's like, I would not make that much of an effort to survive. Like, yeah, I might not actively walk out into a crowd of zombies, but I'm not gonna go fight them. I'm gonna stay in my house as long as I can. But like, like I wouldn't like go, oh, there's a zombie apocalypse. I'm gonna go walk outside. <laughs> if they're not in my house yet, I'm closing the door. But it's not like I'm going to go try to murder people because they're zombies, you know? I don't know. If it was a zombie apocalypse, I would, let's see what I would do. I wouldn't stay in my house because um, Die find my loved ones, say goodbye to them, mm -hmm. maybe just get eaten by one, whatever. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but I'd probably just kind of- I don't- I'd just, like, stay in the house and, like, I, I don't, don't have a zombie survival plan because I don't need one. It's just, once they get in, they're in, whatever. It's like, I'm not yeah. gonna try to hold up in some complex solution. I'll just stay here until I run out of food and things, like- yeah, I guess so. I guess so. It doesn't have to be like this glamorous battle. It's just like, it's just a scary event where you're inevitably gonna die. Yeah, it's like, I'm not, like, I'm not going to actively kill myself, but I'm also not gonna try that hard to survive, you know? Yeah. But it's understand. not worth it. Like. Yeah, there's really nothing. Unless we go to space or something and there's another world out there, because... 
as media has told us, I, I still I, I'm not sure I'd find it worth it. Even like, it's just like if the, the if a majority of our town is a zombie apocalypse, how many of the people I care about are going to survive? Yeah, it's just. Like, yes. If like, I could say it was zombie apocalypse and all my loved ones are dead, but I could have a new beginning, like on a different planet, like Mars, maybe I'd give it a try, but I'd be like broken because yeah, I'd have exactly. no one. It's like, but I mean, a lot of people would also be broken and have no one, so. Yeah, but it's just like, is it worth it? Meh. Yeah. Am I going but to like fight the battle and try to survive? Am I strong enough to do that? Probably not. Like,. No, but if there was like a spaceship like right outside your people are, but would you trust them? I don't know. Oh, probably not. But like, this is... it's well, interesting. there would not be a spaceship in our town. Maybe in your town, but not in my town. <laughs> no, like just right in front of your house. Like it just happened to land there because there was a cul-de-sac and it looked like <laughs> okay, a. Okay, wall... then I'll go in this brand <laughs> spaceship and get kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's a at least. <laughs> I mean, it could have been. Who knows? <laughs> These what-if scenarios. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, a zombie no. apocalypse might happen, but not in the way in the movies. Like, Yeah. Did you ever watch The Walking Dead? Nope. I've thought yeah. about it, but it's not something- It seems a bit gory and stuff, and I've never been that big of a fan of gore. Yeah, like, I wouldn't mind like playing the game. Morbid dark stuff, but I don't like gore. Like, yeah, the main type of morbid thing is just for me interesting is just like crime, because it's kind of interesting to see like why did this person die? It's a mystery. Mm -hmm. That's like the most morbid that I get into with my entertainment. I have an interest in like the funeral industry and like what happens hmm. to dead bodies and things. Yeah. But like, hmm. like the the death positivity thing. Yeah, I'm quite a death positive. Like, I support the society of the good death. Like, that's a really cool thing, and I like. Yeah, I think it's cool too. I I'm, I don't know a lot about it, but I've heard some things about it, and it and sounds I like really good. And choices in ha um in what happens to your body after you die. Like, I personally, yeah. I want to become a garden. Yeah, that's nice. Personally. But, like... I think that's a good idea because all these dead bodies, they're killing the environment. There's no doubt about that mm -hmm. at all. And... Not, like, it's not them, they're coffins. I don't, like... No, what's it. killing the environment is the chemicals we're putting in their body to preserve them. The embalming. I don't but like why would embalming. You preserve them? Embalming is useful if you're trying to put them on a plane and bring them somewhere. But it's not a necessity. So, Especially if you're just like driving them. Yeah, you're keeping them in a freezer, like you don't need to embalm yeah. them. It doesn't make unless like um the body's not dangerous. Unless they've like died of something that's actually like dangerous, then if they've not yeah. died of something contagious, if before they died you weren't worried about going and visiting them, mm -hmm. then their body's not gonna be dangerous. Like, I guess that maybe more of a problem in the past because people are dying left no, over, like epidemics just, and stuff. It's just what happened, and it's become a thing, and no one's like, wait, we don't have to, to be embalmed, so. <laughs> People just aren't, like, super educated on that. No, because people are scared death is of tough their own. Everyone. People don't like talking about their own mortality. And so this mm -hmm. stuff doesn't get talked about, so what happens just continues to happen. So, yeah. yeah. I know one of my friends wants to become, because there's some cool, like, glass blowers that will glass blow with people's ashes and make really cool things. And so I know one oh. of my friends is like, I want to do that to my body. And like that's really cool. Like make it art? Yeah. Or something. Make it a yes. art or a necklace or whatever. Yeah, that's really, really good. Multi-purposing stuff. Mm -hmm. Art is the ultimate way to multi-purpose. Just don't go sticking your ashes in Disney World. <laughs> that's a big problem. <laughs> do people do that? Oh, yeah, it's a really big problem. 
They have, apparently, there's a rumor that they have, like, special vacuum cleaners for the Haunted Mansion, because it's such a problem there. <laughs> oh, people actually want that. Ah, I get it. I get it in a way. Disneyland is supposedly the happiest place on Earth. But if you think that's the happiest place, then maybe you're kind of shallow. Yeah. But I don't know. It's kind of sad. Yeah. It is pretty sad. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I've never been to Disney. I ever will go. Hmm. Maybe one day if I'm living near one. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. So that's what I hear about from YouTubers. They're like, "Oh, I live in Orlando. I go to Disney sometimes." Or my friends. They're like, "For school field trips, I'm going to Disney." That seems so crazy to me. That's because like we you live, live far away from it. My Japanese friend is always like, oh yeah, I went to Disney World for just a casual thing, because she lives near the Japanese Disney World, so... She lives in Tokyo? Yeah, or near it. In Tokyo? She goes to school in Tokyo, yeah, but um, she doesn't actually Like, if live. you lived in the north part of Japan, it might be more difficult to yeah, get down there, yeah. but the transit there is so good, you could probably get there in like an hour and a half mm -hmm. still. Yeah. Like, it's great. Yeah, I'm pretty nice. close to it, but to the theme park here, the amazing park, which is so cool. Yeah. But it's still expensive. It's it just really changes expensive. back to expensive. Yes. It's great, though. Amusement parks are really good. Mm. I'm um, not a big fan of rides, because, um, which is a problem. I never go to them. Yeah. Why not? I don't, I don't know. I just- I don't find enjoyment of them. Like, it's not even- like, I'm scared of them, sure. But it's not- yeah. like, my body That's freezes not up, and so it, I- I am scared of them, but it's not like a fun scare. Like, I like being scared. That's fun. But like, that's kind of scared. My body freezes up, and I can't like, breathe, and I can't like- it just- nah. And it goes into fully just frozen mode, and it's like, difficult to breathe, and like- Yeah, yeah. Um, my, since we're being moved around, my internal organs feel all, like, moved around and it feels gross, and I can't breathe, and yeah. it's just shitty, and it's like, I don't like that. <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, that's not really at all, but I think, I guess you're just not a big, like, excitement, adrenaline type person. No. Because that's what I think of the appeal of being... Yeah. I don't like, like getting I don't, scared. Like, I, I love... It's like, I don't... It's not like I feel like I'm gonna die or anything. It's just I feel really uncomfortable. It just doesn't... It's, like, almost painful to be jerked around so much. And yeah. I, like, I feel like I had uh, would have a lot of fun if my natural response to being slightly freaked out was to scream. But mm -hmm. no, it's to forget how to breathe. So it's not yeah, Which is very uncomfortable, I understand. Yeah. It's but so you just... say I'm getting scared. Do you like things like haunted houses then? Oh yeah, those are fun. I like I, I like don't at I all. do like the more like creepy things. Creepy things are cool. I don't like like my um what I don't like is like the body shutdown mode that my body goes into when it's scared yeah, I know. because instead of adrenaline I get just fear and uncomfortableness. Like, I got freaked out. My body did has like, but like, I'm not scared of it necessarily. Like, I don't have, a, it's not mm -hmm. scary per se. It's just my body's like, no, I don't like this. Like, that, the one near your house, there's the, um, there's the roller coaster for children that has yeah. one bump on it. The small one. That's like a couple feet high. My body's just like, no, I hate it. This is uh, uh. It's like I'm not scared of it. This isn't scary, but I still I can't breathe. My body's frozen up. I don't understand it. Like, there's that nothing weird, scary about this thing. This is like not dangerous at all. It's perfect. It's like this is like two feet off. The, the high part <laughs> is like two feet off the ground, and then you go down quickly for a second. Like, but that going down, it just makes me feel so uncomfortable and I hate it. It's like, but it's like, this is not scary. Why am I freaking out about it? But my, it's just like, no, I can't handle it. Like, but I like the yeah. high rides because I don't like being dropped, but I like things that slowly lift you up and you get to be really high. So I like, like, you the like atmosphere. You like the spinny chairs. Yeah, those are so yeah. much fun. I love those. 
my mom hates that. Last time I went, I yeah. went with my mom, and we went on one of those, and she like she was almost throwing up when we went off of it. She's mm -hmm. just bad with heights. Yeah, but yeah, I just love people. heights. Heights are the best. I like I like getting close to the edge. I like looking off. I like being really high up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like that's, those are good for you because you get to fun. see all the pretty. Trace and stuff too. Yeah, and so. I, I, I remember when I was younger and my mom would not go up there with me on the atmosphere the first year it opened. I was little and my mom would not yeah. go up on it with me. But we were with a different a group of person and there was one um, group of people and there was one of my brother's friend's older sister. She was like 20. And she's like, okay, I'll go up on go up there with you. And so we went together and went and wrote it. And I was all excited and going like, look, all the people are so tiny. And it's <laughs> and I feel like that's why I discovered just how much I love heights. Like heights yeah. are the best. But like it's I I love being up high. And I hate roller coasters. It's just how my body's decided to freak out over nothing with roller coasters. And I don't like water slides. I don't like that feeling of being quickly moved. Yeah. It's just like yourself and like like I don't, and you don't like care the... of them. Like when I look at the, it's not like my body's going. I'm gonna, uh, my mind's going. I'm gonna get hurt. I'm going to like die. Like because I understand some people that's their fear with roller coasters. Like they're going to die, and yeah. it's an irrational fear and stuff. But I don't have that at all. My brain's like, oh yeah, it's perfectly safe. Even though it's not perfectly safe, like there's lots of deaths on roller like coasters. Except for the best, especially nowadays. But it's like, my, it's, I'm lowest. like, yeah, it's, I trust the people who made it. I don't know why, but it's like, it's perfectly safe. But I just hate it. Like, when I'm on there, my body's just like, no, no, this is my, um, my fight or flight reflex is are apparently to act like a statue. Because I'm apparently a deer. Yeah. And... <laughs> like a deer or a rabbit. Yep. Yep. Oh. And so That's it's interesting. Like, yeah, it's like, I don't like it. And it's like, I don't know why. I don't have a rational reason why I shouldn't it's like just it. I just hate it. You. It's just your instincts. Yeah, that's how my body reacts to just not know how to breathe. And it's like, <laughs> that's not helpful. It's like, but yeah. I feel like I could have so much fun if my body's reaction, because I like being scared and like screaming, but my body's <laughs> reaction is I don't scream. Like, I enjoy being it like when I'm expecting to get scared and like jump scared and I get to scream and I get to freak out and that's fun. I find that fun. But when I'm my body's like, no, you're not you're scared and you can't move and that's not fun. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, understand that, I understand that I can totally see why roller coasters would be fun. I just don't find the fun, you know? Yeah. It's weird how um uh, like me I guess my worst thing, as far as I know, I haven't actually, like, been scared recently, but I get spooked really easily, and it's, like, not fun for me. I don't like it, and I don't like being called a baby either, so I just kind of stay away from it, or whatever. Because people, like, are mean to you if you can't handle that type of thing. I don't know, it's just tough for me. It's- that's all it is. It's just tough for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what scares me right now, but I bet if- Watched. Oh, if I watched Blair Witch Project, I would like lose my shit or something like that. Oh, I that sounds that like a fun thing to watch. Like, I'd enjoy watching watch Blair Witch Project. One day, Dana. We what? should totally watch that movie. Yeah, totally. We should totally. watch that movie. Yeah, maybe with the I know people, a lot of but, history um, on Blair Witch Project. It's same. It's super interesting. Because mm -hmm. it's like these nobodies that filmed it, and they had no money. And they filmed it in the woods. Mm -hmm. But I feel, because, like, they had a director. And the director was telling them what was going on and what to do, and like, I know one of the characters like disappears, and that's because the director's like, okay, you're just gonna leave the group. And they told the yeah. other group members. I literally know this. I watched a podcast. And stuff. But like, yeah, it's like, it seemed really interesting. I like things like that, like the ghost hunting and shit. It's dumb, and I don't believe in ghosts or anything, but I enjoy the theatrics of it. Maybe I'm open to the idea ghosts and stuff like that being real so that's why I'm spooked of it but no yeah, really. I'm not, I, like, I don't think ghosts are real part of me I mean, like I think knows I wouldn't want to screw real, around with it, it to be real like I I, yeah, I, no. I feel like I wouldn't want to screw around with it because like why take that chance if they do happen to be real 
But in general, it's mm -hmm. like I don't think they're real. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Have I, I ever wait. told you? So, would you agree that it's a pretty normal thing for a school to have a ghost story about their school? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's something people would love to write about their school. Well, Yours has one about at the my school we had one time a whole bunch of us were in the bottom floor and we were in this room that no one really used that much and there was a stack of chairs and all of a sudden one of them fell over and we were all joking that was a ghost. <laughs> and every day whoever got there first would go run and write, write on the whiteboard something creepy and no teachers <laughs> really went in there. And then what, at one point our teacher found out about this and... Um, she was kind of annoyed at us and was like, there's no such thing as ghosts. But what she followed with that was with, um, there's no such a thing as ghosts. It was probably a demon. And it's just like, <laughs> okay! <laughs> no! That's so unsettling! That's like the end of, like, the Twilight Zone or it's something. It's like, this is the teacher of a bunch of grade fourers who are joking around about a ghost. And all, like, every every single student is, like, doing things to pretend to be the ghost. And everyone knows it's other students. And she's like, no, it was probably <laughs> a demon. And we're like, just like, Jeez. what the fuck? But, yeah. That That's a lot for fourth graders, honestly. Yeah. I don't know any ghost stories. I watched this on another podcast. Oh, my gosh. There was this kind of interesting story where they were saying they lived in this house. And they felt it that it was really haunted. Like, there was all these weird goings-ons that happened when no one was home. Mm -hmm. And then they moved, and, like, it was all gone suddenly. And it was just like, that's weird. Weird, but, man. So, it's like, I like watching random ghost videos on YouTube and things, but it's like, I feel like this is all fake. And I'm fine with that. Like, I'm not. I, I don't like to watch them because they are, they are fake. Like, it makes me disappointed. Because <laughs> I'm like, I kind of want to believe that there's more to this. Yeah, it's like, I, those, these are totally, what bugs me is when these, um, people are, like, always, like, every time, I don't think ghosts are real, and then something, like, really weird happens to them, and they're like, I've never experienced something like this, this is amazing, and then next episode, I don't believe ghosts are real, and it's just repeated, oh my like, God. if that experience happened to me personally, yeah, ghosts are totally real, <laughs> stop going back and forth it's on this. It's so it's just fabricated. There's nothing it's like, about it. It's real. Yeah. It's disappointing. Mm hmm But I find it entertaining sometimes. Like, if they do yeah. it well, I find it entertaining. But, like, I prefer you just told me this wasn't real. Like... I just like, um... I guess mysteries, that's all. I yeah. like to watch those videos on YouTube sometimes. Mm hmm Sometimes mysteries about ghosts. But I like things to be plausible. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It, wanna, even with my media... You wanna play, play our game, game soon? How long have we been recording? Um, an hour and nine minutes. Yeah, we let's get to it. Let's not keep these. You got yours loaded up? Are you gonna record yours? Uh, yeah, I can record mine. I don't have it loaded up. I'm still waiting for it to open. <laughs> well, should we should we tell the people what we're playing today? We're playing the best game. We're playing what? Lasersharks.io, which Laser we don't know if we can play I together. Know. So we're just gonna do. We're gonna start at the same time and see see who lasts longer. <laughs> I we don't know what it is. We didn't try it, but we experimented. Kinda. I went and looked, and it's just a game where you get stuck in a server, and. Unsurprisingly, <laughs> and so we don't know if we're gonna get stuck in the same server. We're just gonna try to survive as long as possible. Uh, my screen recording thing be opening. Hmm. Oh wait, here we go. I got two of them for some reason. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, it's because it's an update. Anyway, here we go. So recording. Okay. Should I sync it or no? That's mm, fine. I I now that you've said recording, I can stick okay, it to good. the same spot and kind of go by your right. reactions. But you all right, you ready? Color. What color did you choose? Can you choose the color? I just am stuck yeah. with red. You're red. Okay. I cannot change that. All right, shall we? Press oh my play? god! Oh my god! Have you pressed press play? play? Okay, I'm I gonna press join play. you. What is this? 
You try to get the fishies, I... and you can, if you press space bar, you'll shoot a laser. So this is a two-handed game. Oh my god. Someone on the table. Laser C. I see this guy here. I'm trying to... Oh, I see Dana. Oh, we got stuck in the same server. Sick. Because not a lot of people play this. Oh my god, he just shot at me. Oh my god. No! Just this try is... to survive and try to kill the other person. I have a freaking crap mouse. I'm gonna run away. Oh my gosh. I keep seeing this guy. We don't care about the, the other guy. people. Just try to kill each other. It's whoever survives longest. <laughs> this person's like... Oh my gosh, I almost sniped him. So we're just like a random letter is his name. Where are you? I think it's just who has more fish by the end. Or what do you think? I don't think- I don't know if there's an end. Just try to kill each other. And I'm not sure if we just or something. But I'm just gonna- if we die, we're leaving. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Oh. This game reminds me of that weird prism board game we played, kinda. I don't know, because it has prisms in it. <laughs> it's just nothing like, it. like Laser Rider. It has lasers in it, and it has- there's a laser shark in Laser Rider, too. That is true. So maybe it's the guy from this game. Except from the future. Or the past, or whatever. The future past. Now I'm just kind of peaceful, I don't see anyone. I think that it's not- It's zoomed in too much. Like, if it was zoomed out a bit more, maybe I could actually see the people in front of me. Because <laughs> yeah. they just randomly appear. Now I don't know where anyone- I see- Oh, we're, we're close in fish. I've got to get some more fish in me. I don't know why I care so much about fish. Ah! <laughs> this is the real Blair Witch Project I'm getting. I haven't seen that movie. I don't know how much scary it is. It's probably pretty scary. My mom was very scared of it when it, got, when it came out, and she tells me not to watch it. <laughs> mm. um, but the, There's one moment in it where one of the characters the sees, with, with um, sees a guy and like freaks out, but they, he, he doesn't catch it on camera, so everyone's, oh, she didn't actually see someone. She did. The director hired someone to go be creepy in the <laughs> middle of the forest to scare them, and they didn't catch it on camera. That's weird. But yeah, the I think the but yeah, it was actually kind of terrible for the people in it because the directors and stuff were perfect purposefully giving them like less food than yeah. they needed. Yeah, I knew that too. But uh, actually, some of the actors kind of regret it. Like mm -hmm. the lady from it, I've heard her say that she never got the fame, and also the the director like said she was dead right after the movie came out, so that didn't help with her trying to become an actress. Yeah, because <laughs> everyone thought she was dead. I'm getting all the fishies, but I don't see any humans. Well, they're not humans; they're sharks. I shot at a few. I don't even know if I. Uh... What's my score? Oh, I'm seventh place. Oh, you're better than me though. Yeah. You're beating me. Oh my gosh, I see three guys. Get killed, get killed, get killed. Get killed, get killed. That's me. <laughs> Snipe! Did you snipe someone? Uh, I think I hit them, but they're not dead. Cause it's- it, you have so much health. Maybe if there was more people. Yeah. Actually, I got hit like twice. Oh, I and see I was someone. Like, yeah. I'm gonna battle. Someone's name is Spooky Ghost. Run away, cause that... he's almost out of health. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, I'm gonna get the ghost. I'm gonna get the ghost. He's ahead of me. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <sighs> There's a guy who's almost out of health. Let me get him. I wanna get him. <laughs> Where'd he go? We need to find I each other so we can just battle it out. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all the people where I am. I need to find you. I'm near Shadow... Shadow Fight. I don't know where they are either. <laughs> Boom. I did get a headshot that time. Good job. Where could he be? Oh, oh my- people. I killed- I killed him! I killed Shadow Fate! I killed someone! Alright, who's gonna cl climb the rank? I guess we'll s I think you respawn and you just go at the bottom. 
-hmm. But I guess we'll just stop when we die. We'll, we'll just stop when we die. Oh, I killed someone else! Liam Sh- Liam Sh- <laughs> Liam Sh- I wonder if people- kids in, like, math class play this game. It seems like one of those games, you know? Yep. Where, like, you're- you're in class and you're just playing this. Also, my health is dwindling. Die, die. Oh, Ooh, I found someone. Like, is die. that, like, Call of Duty? Where, if my health is low, it just respawns? Oh my god. It responds I feel like someone's shooting me. Yeah. Just like Call of Duty. This game is just like Call of Duty. Yep. I'm low on health. I'm behind it. Oh my god, there's so many people I can't even run away. Holy frick, this guy. There's two guys after me. There's two guys. Die, die, oh, die. I died. I died. Woo! I win then. I'm gonna share that on Twitter. We need to have everyone to see. Should I go no, and leave? Yeah, leave the game. Or do you want to try again? No. That's a little. <laughs> it was it's not that great. Well. I left. It's. It wasn't that triumphant, but. How long did that take us? Like. Hashtag sharks. Like eight know. minutes. But it's just a dumb game. Alright, so I win this I'm week. Watching some jellyfish. You guys can watch some jellyfish with me for a bit. Something just like slammed into the wall or something. I think it was ghost? probably William. Ghost. <laughs> Definitely a ghost. Either that or yes. someone hitting my house with their car. Oh my god, hopefully not. I doubt that, but I'm in a closet, so I don't know. I think that the the freaking car would have had to fly a little bit. That is That's accurate. Like... Because your, your house is kind of high up. I mean, they could have gone up the driveway. They could have, but they would have had to have like a ramp. No, you, you just a, drive like, up the driveway and go into the, um, the wall. But don't you have a car in the driveway and a car in the Not garage? Not currently. Oh, you got rid of it? Oh no. yeah, you did. Um, no, we didn't. There's just no one in the driveway because the driveway is left for the people, the car that actually works, and that's yeah. not currently at the house. So therefore, there is no ah, car in the driveway. We're totally vulnerable to crazy drivers. But that would be like driving into us would have to be like a premeditated act because it's very hard to get into my driveway. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They would have had to like do it on purpose. But why your house? I doubt hmm. a car hit my house. <laughs> Good. It was. It was. We William. should sign off so I can go check what happened. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I think this was kind of an interesting one. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have our guest on next week. And if you have anything, if you want to be on the podcast, just DM us and we'll try to figure something out. Yeah. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye.